shut down. Ruin kill. Yo, Jenks, that was sick as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, that was dope. What's going on, guys? Today, I want to talk about sniping in Black Ops 4. Specifically, the snipers. The good, the bad, the do's, the don'ts. As you can see in the gameplay, I grinded and I got the diamond camo. Which, by the way, was cruel. The challenges are horrific. Whoever decided to come up with uh, the challenges for the SDM is actually Satan. It is brutal. So if you're grinding for the diamond camo like I got it, I wish you luck, man. I wish you luck and I hope you got really good aim because the SDM, oh boy, that was painful. <laughs> Anyways, let's just start it off. No wasting time. The Paladin, best sniper in the game. By far, this is the go-to. Good thing about it is that it one-shots through armor. Armor is in multiplayer if you aren't familiar. It's same as Juggernaut basically from the older ones. It's extra health. And this is the only sniper that'll one-shot through armor if you run double high caliber, which is what I do. My attachments is high caliber one, high caliber two, and FMJ. FMJ is kind of a toss-up. You can, you can alternate it if you want and do uh, faster reload. I believe it's called uh, slight, sight loader. You can do that too, but I run high caliber one, high caliber two, FMJ. Love it. By far the best sniper in the game. The only downfall, and this is actually a really big downfall for the Paladin, is that it's only got five shots in a magazine. You can't be missing shots. If you're running the Paladin, you need to be hitting heads. It's brutal, man. And if you don't run Scavenger, you've only got 12 in excess, I believe, which is, that's bad. So if you're running the Paladin, you want to run Scavenger, 110%, and that's your perk one slot. If you're, especially if you're going for high kill games, if you're going for streaks, like you, you need Scavenger if you're running the Paladin. Alright, number two, second best to the Paladin, we have the Koshka. Koshka is actually a really good sniper, the only downfall is if the enemy is running lots of armor, you gotta hit heads, you can only put one attachment of high caliber on whereas the paladin you can run high caliber one and two kashka you only got one so it's a little bit weaker you don't one shot through armor in the chest but it's got six rounds in the mag now that's where the paladin sucks the kashka is better so if you're hitting heads you're aiming high the enemy's not really running armor like you can pick and choose between the game the kashka is better it's a lot easier to hit clips it's not necessary to run scavenger unless you're going for really high kill games or you're going for uh, big streaks or something like that. Then you would want to run scavenger again, but Koshka is fantastic. Next thing about the Koshka is its aim down sight speed. The aim down sight speed is a lot faster. Which What I mean by that is when you scope in, when you hit L2 on your controller, you scope in a lot faster. I'm pretty sure it's the fastest scope in time out of any sniper i correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but I, I believe that it is it is really fast so koshka number two the only downfall is damage but again not that big of a deal if you're aiming high hitting heads it's really good really good sniper all right next up the hit marker king the outlaw this thing is brutal especially if you're grinding for diamond camo you need one shot kills with this thing and it seems like two-thirds of your shots are hit markers this thing is brutal. It's got nine rounds in the mag. It's a high fire rate, really low damage. It's just, it doesn't feel good. The gun is just bad. Cool thing about it though, is when you max it out, when you level up the weapon and you get max level for the weapon, you unlock the weapon operator mod. The operator mod is a bolt cylinder, I believe it's called. And what it does is it shoots three bullets at the same time. If you play Black Ops 3, you can kind of compare it to the PO6. The PO6 felt really good though, like when you would when you would shoot, it would shoot a three round burst. And it would, it would have really low recoil, but it felt really good. This thing has got really strong recoil, it just doesn't feel very good, you know? But again, if you're grinding out for it, you need the diamond camo, you need to get this gun done. If you feel like you need to go to hardcore, I mean by all means, take care of it. You're gonna one hit there, but 
I did it all in regular, normal core gameplay. Chaos TDM is what I played like throughout the entire time. But yeah, Outlaw, the Hitmarker King, it is it is brutal. On a side note though, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but this is a cool little grapple spot. I've been dying to hit a clip there. And in this game, I almost hit it like four times. Here, I wanna put a little clip. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Check this out. Tell me this would not be the coolest thing ever to do on that map, right there. Bro, I've been sorry, sorry I'm getting a little distracted, but side note, that clip would be cool to hit right there. Imagine getting a four man. Boop, boop, boop. Sorry. I had to put that in there. I thought it was kind of cool. Anyways, next we have the SDM. This thing is a semi-auto sniper. You could honestly compare it to an auger DMR. This thing is, it, it's not a sniper, it doesn't feel like a sniper. It is technically a sniper, it's semi-auto. Really fast fire rate, and again, god awful. The worst sniper to complete challenges with for the diamond camo. It is an incredible pain in the ass. I believe it's got 10 rounds in the mag. Uh, the challenges for it are just absurd. So, I believe the challenge is, it starts with you needing to get a hundred headshots to just unlock the technical challenges. So this is just the beginning. You need to get a hundred challenges, or sorry, a hundred headshots. Catch is though, is before you unlock high caliber rounds for this thing, you can't even one shot to the head. This, this sniper with no high caliber rounds will not headshot, or will not kill in one shot to the head. It is brutal. Then right after that, you need to get 10 long shot medals, 50 kills with no attachments, 50 kills with 5 attachments and an optic, 5 kills without dying 5 times, and then 2 rapid kills 5 times. It's the challenges for this gunner out of this world. I did all of these challenges in core. I never touched hardcore to do these challenges. I did it all on stream by the way, so if you care to watch me live, link is in the description. Shameless plug. I gotta hit him with it, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, what I did to get this challenge done was I equipped the holographic optic and I played it as if I was using a DMR. Catch is though, it's a sniper, so it's got no aim assist. That's the pain. So if you use it like a DMR, you have no aim assist. It's kind of like running an AR, but you have to be, you have to be precise. You gotta really pick and choose your shots. The long shot metal, it's really you. You have to depend on the map, but yeah, boy, if you're grinding, if you're grinding for diamond camo, this is the this is the doozy to complete. I mean, the outlaw was a doozy, but this thing is just on a different level. The person that made these challenges for the SDM is, is seriously cool, like genuinely. Uh, next up that I want to talk about, I want to talk about the gear that I use while I'm sniping. I prefer to use acoustic sensor. Stimshot is really cool, and I mean, you can rock Stimshot if you want. Stimshot basically heals you faster, you can use it faster, and it heals you faster. But I I put myself in spots where I'm gonna die, right? Like when I'm trying to go for clips and I'm trying to hit, do cool stuff, I'm never sitting in the back. I'm always in the shits. So it's like, if I'm in the shits and I'm getting shot, I'm dead anyways. If I miss my shot, I'm dead. Doesn't matter if I have Stimshot or not. So I use acoustic sensor, and if you've been paying attention to my radar in the gameplay in the background, what acoustic sensor does is it points a little red arrow in the direction of enemies. Unless they're running dead silence, I believe. Dead silence is the, the perk that negates that. But anyways, really, really good gear. I highly recommend it if you're sniping. And then perks, honestly, perks don't really matter too much in this game other than scavenger. I do like using lightweight. So my typical class is acoustic sensor, lightweight, scavenger, and ghost. Third perk doesn't really matter. Second perk doesn't really matter. But again, I use the Paladin like 24 seven. So scavenger is a must for this guy. And secondaries, I don't really bother too much with secondaries. Usually if I want a secondary in a game, I'll kill somebody and take their gun and that's my secondary. But the Mozu though, if I have to have a, a secondary equipped, it's the Mozu. I love that thing. Anyways, that is all I have to say about the snipers in this game. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're grinding for Diamond Camo yourself, I wish you the best of luck. It is it's a challenge like no other. <laughs> With that said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.